What's going on? It's Josh from AR15.com. I'm here at the Zenith booth at SHOT Show 2024 here with Logan. What do we have? This is the Zenith Firearm ZF56. So it is a roller delayed rifle chambered in a 5.56 round. What's interesting about this is it does have your classic roller delayed platform with your bolt release, but it does have a last round bolt hold open. So once you pop that thing forward, all you have to do is click one of the ambi bolt releases and you're good to go. Also features an ambi mag and ambi safety as well. So it's kind of an interesting thing because I can see like the HK uh, receiver set. I can see like an HK like uh, it feels like the safety selector. It's not, but it feels exactly. like it. And even the trigger shoe feels like something out of an HK. But there's clear like AR-15 magazine release. There's a lot of people that are doing these like integrated bad levers effectively yep. that are inside of like it's an AMB bolt release is what it is or bolt catch. Uh, flared magwell, which is really interesting. How much of this do you think would be AR-15 compatible versus, or is this almost completely proprietary to it? So itself? yeah, the the magazine is completely AR compatible. Obviously, we have our M lock here, but. Other than that, you know, your pick rail, it's, the lower is absolutely proprietary. Sure. To get like the best of both worlds with that, yeah. you know, the, kind of like the HK33 and the AR platform. Sure. It has to be. Um, but the, obviously the, the grip and the mag, both AR compatible. I was say, pistol grip there. Uh, is, this is the castle nut with the buffer tube. I'm assuming that's AR15 compatible. So it is, which is, which is cool. It does come with this, you know, this is actually a proprietary, you know, butt cap like that we created cap, yeah. um, that allows for any kind of buffer tube attachment that you have. Interesting, so you'll have like a 1913 version of this or is it just for this castle nut lock up here? Um, just for this right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then our pistol versions will be sold with just this, with no just stock this. as well. Cool, um, and I'm, I'm assuming they'll have like a like a tube that you can attach a brace or whatever on? Absolutely, yeah. Cool, so you'll have one that won't have anything there or you'll just have like like the so, weird kind of PDW style ones? So our, both, all of our pistols will come like this. Yeah. Um, you know, what you do with that, Sure, sure, that you. is what you um, do, yeah. Absolutely, um, and what's cool is we're also making this in 300 blackout, 762, nine mil, and 10 mil. Very, very cool. What's uh, MSRP and release date on this guy? Um, $2,500 MSRP right now. Um, it actually is available for pre-order for the 5.56 and the 300 blackout. Um, and we're looking at delivery early April right now, so Q2. The other question I have, and maybe I'm reaching too far, are you gonna have these in like nine millimeter? Are you gonna have these in 45? We will have nine mil, we will have okay, nine mil. Okay, very No plans for a 45. And then um, are we doing shorter barrels on some of these absolutely. guys? Absolutely, so we're doing 12, 14 and a half, and 16 on each platform. Very, very cool. That's awesome, I, I appreciate you taking the time to, to do this. This is released now or is pre-order now? Pre-order right now. When is it dropping, you think? Early April um, is what we're doing for the first delivery. Mm -hmm. um, so get your pre-orders in quick. Where do you think they'll go find these? They have like distributors that you want them to go to, or they can. So just right now it's it. only available pre-order on the website, um, but they will be available at all your main distributors once they're live. Very cool. I appreciate you taking the time, Logan, and this is pretty cool. Shout out to Zenith for taking some time to talk to us. I will see you guys at the next booth.